Bulls up next with the fifth seed from Chinese Taipei, Wang Tsui up against Japan's seventh seed, Koki Watanabe. Potential for an all Japanese final, perhaps. Kenta Momota would certainly love that, wouldn't he? We'll have him in action a little bit later on, don't you worry. Lots away, though. A bit of a revival for him. He's got to get past Koki Watanabe first, though, to get into that final. Wong Tsui comes out first. And he's followed by Koki Watanabe. Very similar rankings, as you'll see in a short while. And they've had two epic matches against each other in recent times. Just about to show you. It's uh, Koki Watanabe has won both of their matches. The recent one at the Arctic Open in uh, Finland, he won that in three. That took an hour and 15 minutes. Good catch there on the coin toss. So I suppose you come in as the nominal favourite Koki Watanabe and they also played at the uh, Spain Masters earlier this year in March. Watanabe won that one also in three. These two warm up. We'll uh, get to find out a little bit more about them. 28 year old Wang Tsui is 178 centimeters tall from Taipei. 28th currently, but of course he is a former top 10 player. That was about uh, two and a half years ago when he reached those heights. He's won one title on the uh, HSBC BWF World Tour. That was in 2019. Side Money International has dropped one game so far against. Uh, Liao Zhuofu, and that one was a long, long match. I think we were here when that happened yesterday. A big celebration from him when that finally happened. 78 minutes. Koki Watanabe, 24, 166 centimeters tall. Year, yeah. the capital Tokyo, playing at his best ever ranking. World Junior Championships. He finished third in 2015. He's dropped a couple of games as well along the way in the first and second round. And on the World Tour, he has won the Orleo Masters in 2019. And this year, he won the Swiss Open, beating Cho Tian Chen in the final. Away. I think it'll be interesting based on the last time he met Koki Watanabe. He lost 21-6 in the third set, but that match did go for an hour and 15 minutes. So he did have a long match against a fellow Chinese Taipei player yesterday. So whether that is going to play an impact, we'll have to see how he's feeling if he's recovered well from yesterday's long match. Yeah, that could well have an impact, you're right. Kang Sun-young and Kang Ki-hyun are our Korean officials for this one. 
Papaya and Service Judge, respectively. Just stretching himself a little bit more. And, oh, almost thought I saw a bit of a wince there on the groin from Wong. Hit those heights in the top ten a couple of years ago. And he's kind of struggled since. Walked away. We know he has the ability to play and beat the top players. I think consistency has been a trickier thing for him over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kuki Watanabe, Japan. Yeah, he hasn't got uh, and on my to left, Wang Ziwei, a semi -final Chinese Taipei. In a long time. His home Wang tournament, to start, the Taipei Lahore. Open. Play. Only other time this year. Lots of first round exits. Oh. First and second round in particular. Oh. One love. But he's an experienced campaigner. Walks away. This is the best he's ever done at the uh, Korean Masters. Never got past the second round until this year. One all. As for Watanabe, he's hit quite a few quarterfinals this year. He won the Swiss Open, as we said. So this is only his second semi final of 2023. Oh. Look at that. Two, How good one. was that for Watanabe? Cool as you like. Cross court defensive block winner. Yep, this is uh, his first semi final. Watanabe at the Korean Masters hit the quarterfinals in 2019. He does it there for the Japanese player. Three, one. I think that's what we're going to see Koki Watanabe do. He does so well. Just those quick injections of speed, of pace. So he'll be cruising, cruising, cruising in the rally, and then, bam, explode in speed and power. And that's where he counterattacks and does really well. Just like that. I'll tell you the last semi final he was at, uh, which was Swiss Open. He played a certain Lee Zijia, fourth uh, in the world at the time. And he won that very comfortably 21 11, 21 14. That was his first semi in four years. So he's had two in a year, which is uh, pretty good for him. has done well in that rally, winning it with a broken string. This is Watanabe's sixth ever semi-final, having won three out of five, by the way. Good from Watanabe. Sub Silver. Five, two. Yeah, interesting to see uh, Wong Tawei in semi finals. He's uh, won eight out of 20. His last semi final win coming, coming in the Sideboard International, which he won. That was back in 2019. Just the one Six, win in his last two. nine semi-finals walked away. Stuff like that does play in your mind, I'm sure, doesn't it? 
think it's just that element of confidence move going into a semi-final and knowing that you can play these matches deep into the tournament and win them. Clipping the nets Seven, along the way. Watanabe is looking sprightly and energetic, isn't he? Watanabe is looking really good now. You can see Wong's away adding speed and going for attacking shots, but Watanabe is getting them back relatively comfortably. Yeah. So for the Wong's away fans out there, it's a little bit concerning that his attack isn't penetrating at the moment. Sub silver. See what he was uh, looking to do there, Watanabe. Three net exchanges in a row that Wong's away has won. Oh. Sub silver. Eight, five. And going for it again in the net exchange there, Wong's away. So looks like he's a little bit concerned to give. Watanabe the attacking opportunity, so he's really drawing into that net play. Oh. Nine, Watanabe five. looking to assert himself again. Just not enough height depth on that clear there. Just easy put away in the end for Watanabe. Watanabe has an outstanding record against players from uh, Chinese Taipei. He's won 10 out of 12 matches Whoa. coming into this. 10 5. Wong Tuwe against uh, Japanese players in the semi finals has never won. Back. Sub silver. Yeah, so pretty Six, energy sapping rallies here. Ten. Longest rally of the match so far. Finished off with a good hold and net. That's Navi looking for the rear court shot there. Another net exchange won by Wang's away there. So I think he's really focusing his attention on winning that net, not giving away the easy lift, which Watanabe has been attacking really well already in the first half of this first set. So let's see if Watanabe closes the net. It'll be interesting to see whether he takes a step in and looks for it. Chi 
leaving there. Oh, that's good. Four walks away. Eight, ten. Wipe the coat, please. It's really starting to get a little bit longer. Good anticipation there by Wang Zui as well. Wang Zui. Already Show turned to that deep forehand corner to cut that one off. And Watanabe hit it straight into the direction of his racket. Nice word of that from Wong Tuwei. Nine, ten. He's starting to build up his own momentum. Finding his groove now. He was trailing by five. He's now got four in a row. Really good from Wong Tuwei. Well, this is swung back and forth, isn't it? So Watanabe ten, goes into interval. the interval with a slender one-point lead. It could have been a lot more, but Wang Tuwei showed some good battling qualities. Fascinating battle here, Jeff, between uh, Wong Tuwei and Koki Watanabe. With the uh, Japanese player just in front. Oh! We've seen flashes ten. from both of them, haven't we, so far? I think it'll be interesting to see how Koki Watanabe takes the first few points after the interval. I feel like he turned a little bit more passive in the later parts of the the first half of that set. So let's just see whether he adds the speed and explosiveness again like we saw at the beginning. Oh, 
Ryan's got a lock a couple times here in a row. 14, 10. All that good work just before the interval started to get undone again. Credit to Watsnabi here. I think he's really taking the game on again. He's actively looking for the shot. So for that shot just then, that net shot, he didn't take that too low. He took that nice and high. Put Wangs away under pressure. And caused the error. Is that one you think he should have made? I think he definitely could have made it, but I think that that's the play he needs to be doing. He's hit quite a few winners off that straight smash, yeah. that counter attack. So I think he needs—he definitely needs to keep doing that, taking those chances. Oh! Silver. Fifteen, eleven. One. He wants to use that power, doesn't he? Mm. And I think that's one of his favorite shots as well, that around the head cross court smash. Well, he's got a <coughs> smile on his face. Talking back to his coach a bit there. <laughs> Late. Gets away with it. Sub silver. 12. Looked almost 15. casual there for a Watanabe. comes out on top again. 13, 15. The lead is cut to two. It's a very good post-interval session for Watanabe, but now it's away. Looking to storm back. Oh. Sub silver. 16, 13. Good bit of disguise there from Watanabe. Great variation there. Please. Wong's away is, was almost at the double service, uh, the the service line at the rear court, waiting for that attacking shot. So really good vision there from Watanabe to see the gaps in the front court. It takes speed out of that one. Easy finish there for Watanabe. 17-13. And there's a little spells of points, haven't they, for each of these players. Mm. Watanabe leading by four here. That's just way too high on that transition shot. Easy put away for Watanabe in the end. Done. Great interception there, using a bit of his height there to cut that one off. 14, but otherwise a really well-constructed point there. 
Watanabe had a few really good defensive saves, but Hongzhui kept his cool. He's able to finish the point off eventually. Play. Sub silver. Yep, you can see the uh, fourteen expression there on Watanabe's face. Every time he seems to just come a little close to Watanabe, one two eight, you can't quite get there. Twelve. So he restores that five point 19, lead that he enjoyed. Fourteen. Yeah, the start of this first game. And it's coming a good time for him. Yeah, desperate to turn his record around against 15, players from Japan. Well, he's got a losing record. 11 out of 26. He's won. Well, the last match he played was against Koki Watanabe. In fact, two of his last three matches against Japanese players have come against this opponent. And, of course, he has lost both of them. Sets up 20, five game, game points point here, Watanabe. 15. We've seen kind of shifts in momentum quite a few times yeah. in this in this first set. But Watanabe's managed to stay ahead even when the momentum is with Wang's away. Yeah. So Koki Watanabe had the lead almost from the very Koki start Watanabe. and never looked back. There was a moment where Wang Tsui had battled back to 10 all. But after the interval, Wang Tsui started to assert himself again. And he takes this first game. And he's uh, won that relatively comfortably in the end, 21-15. Jeff, we 
going to the second game now. What, looking at Wangs away here, what are the positives you can get from that first game? I think when he was able to take that net early and take those attacking opportunities away from Watanabe, that's when he was doing the best. And he did win quite a few net exchanges, Second some game. in a row Low as well. So I think for him here, it'll be that Play. he needs to win the net. He needs to be higher than the net oh. and try to reduce the amount of times where Watanabe can counter-attack or move quickly and hit his attacking shots from the rear court. Very nicely done by Watanabe. One love. That uh, attacking shot by Wong's away. Just not of good enough quality. It was just too far to the middle. Too easy to take. Watanabe just taking that defensive shot so Two early. Love. So early, just taking away the time from Wang's away here. Look how early he is on there. He takes that in front of his body, basically. So hard to recover from a cross-court smash, the longest distance in the court to move cross, and your opponent's taking it in front of him. Away. Three love. Oh, He's having a chat there with his coach. Oh, Hot. Four well, that's what he love. should probably feel he should have put away. He walked away. A good initiative there, but sometimes. Even when you do the right things with play with the top players like Watanabe, they can get out of pickles themselves. So frustrating, oh. but a really good start by Watanabe here. I think Longsway is going to have to dig really deep if he's going to have a chance here. This is going very, very well for Koki Watanabe. Five, love. Five straight points. This is an even better start than the one he had in the previous game. Serious danger of running six away from Wong Tuwe. A set down, love six down in the second. We're going to need to see something very, very soon. Otherwise, it's just going to be a bit too difficult. Oh. Well, on command. Sub silver. He finally gets One, a point. Six. Now to get a run himself. His best run in the oh. first game was five points. I dearly love that right now. Two, six.
Well, you're talking about the net play where Wang actually had some good exchanges. That one was uh, Koki Seven, Watanabe. Two. Watanabe expecting that net to come back there, so didn't move too far back into the base. Stayed in the front court, so we could take that shot early and hit that for a cross. Oh, great shot. Oh. Well dealt with with Wangs away. It's not easy to hit Step those over. net touches. Three, with the net cord seven. there. It's a great retrieving there to get a net touch, but well dealt with with Wangs away there. Reactions there, want to wait. Four, seven, change. Wanting to show he's not down and out just yet. Great follow up there, set up Eight. by the Four. hold and cross court push forehand. Didn't quite see that on the replay, but that's the one that set it up. Four. Six silver. Four. Five. Eight. Well, given the start that he had, which was uh, six love, it has been 5-2 uh, in favour of Wong Tawai since then. Rally there. Yeah. It's really going to take it out of, I think, Six. more Wong's away there. <coughs> Change. And ask for a break for a chow towel down and a drink straight away. Really good net quality there. Taking that net early again being really important for Wong's away here. Well, we, we talked about that 78 minute match yesterday, didn't we? For Wong's away in the quarterfinals. And he's going to have to go the distance here, isn't he? If he wants to get to the final. Mentioned that the two times that uh, these two have met each other, it's gone to three. Play. Love six down to seven eight. Yeah. He's done really well to claw his way back in this one. Seven of the last nine points have gone to Wong Tu Wei. Like 
Sir Silva. Nine, seven. So great push into the backhand first to set up that shot, opening up the court, getting a bit of a, a slower and not so deep return so that he could put that away. And he was ready to follow up if Wong's away was able to return it. Eight, nine. Just a really back and forth match here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's it's, it's the momentum has shifted a lot. Certainly in store for our longest match for today's thus far. Well, the other two finished in about 39, 40 minutes. We're to the 35th minute of this one. And he's drawn level here, Wong Tse so that's a real credit to him. Similar scenario that we saw in the first set. So Watanabe being ahead quite early on. Yeah. And then getting to 10 all. And Watanabe going into the interval 11 10 up. So he's been, Watanabe was 6 love up, now 10 9 up. So in both instances, going to the interval really close. But, uh, Encouraging from Wang Tu Wei's perspective, oh, yeah. mm. given that he was so far back. And you said he'd have to draw something pretty deep to <laughs> to stay in this, and he has so far. Well, in it's cover. almost a carbon copy of the first game. Koki Watanabe, after a very, very good start, his lead has been whittled down, but he leads by two, and he's taken the first game. Koki Watanabe in front here, 11-9 in game two. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Coach, return to your chair. Players on court. Cookie. On court. When you, when you have you know taken quite a significant 11, lead and that nine. gets completely, <laughs> almost completely whittled down. Play. How does that affect you as a player? I mean, do you think, okay, well, we're, we're at scratch, so it doesn't really matter? Or are you like, oh, I can't believe I did that? I think it's a, a bit of both. I think he can draw confidence from the first set that he was able to extend the lead out again Sub after Silver. the mid-game interval. 10, 11. But from Wang Zui's perspective, it's it's also it's good that he can come back, but if he can't get the lead and he's always chasing and he catches up and True. chases and catches up, that's quite mentally <laughs> difficult as well. Oh! 
So I think that if if Watanabe has a good has a good run of Twire. points here and he and he Ten. gets a four or five point lead here, I think it'll be very difficult for Wang's away to come back. I know he did it in the first half, but to play catch up for a whole set, it is oh. Yeah, it's very. Uh, you, you mentioned there, of course, that first game. A lot of echoes with that when they were at uh, ten all. That was the closest he got. Never took the lead. Long to wait. Fail. And uh, as you mentioned, Thirteen. started to put a run of points after the interval there. Koki Watanabe looking to do that here as well. Up by three. Guess the right way there. Yeah. Got out of jail there. Wong's away did. And the grueling long rally here. Be the longest one. Wow! Oh, that's in, but it is going to get challenged. Challenges <laughs> actually had that many really challenges today. Looked away though. Is having a go at this one. And he's killed over. He is tired. That was a long, long, long rally. And if anything, this challenge is a good break. But it's a stark contrast, isn't it? What, what we're not showing here is. He's kind of a ball of energy, isn't he? Uh, what's it Yeah. And it's in. More of a hopeful challenge there. Yeah. If nothing else, One just to take a break. Many. 14, 10. Play. You've got uh, the likes of Koda Naroka, quite happy to play for hours on it. Still look fresh. He does. Is he starting to look a little gas to you? Wong's away. away. I think Play. so, based on, yeah, just that last rally, but I feel like if he doesn't get a few quicker points here, right, it could be mentally, physically, of, uh, of course, but mentally quite difficult for him to come back. So you feel he might try to kill off a few? He may do so, yes. Oh! That looked a tired shot. Mm. The, the penultimate one there that Wong's away 15. played. Ten. And the lead is now five. That, that shot there. Yeah. Almost a <laughs> sneaky <laughs> block at the net. What the fuck, please? Yeah, he would have desperately needed that 16, one. Walked away, but it's not going his way. Good dive here. Oh. Good reaction. But now, if you are Watanabe, you're going to not take your time too much between the points. You're gonna, ah, you're gonna yeah. keep moving. Right. You're gonna. Even if you're going to lose a point, you're going to get that extra shuttle back and make Wang's away play an extra point, or an extra shot, sorry, over and over. 16, 10. This is where the mental play. strength and the mental part to really wear down your opponent comes into it. Yeah, it's not really going for a bit. 17, what? Away. 10. Oh. You can see 
to hear Watanabe ready to serve, ready to go. Long's away, trying to slow it down a little bit. Watanabe really won't mind this long rally here if he can keep it going. He's more than happy to keep it running. It's just, it's just really not just about 18, wearing your opponent down. 10. Yeah, I think it's just he, I, he can definitely tell that Wang's away struggling yeah. physically. So with this one here, yeah, don't do too much with it. Just get, make him play another one. Because even if he doesn't win this rally here, it's likely that Wang's away could give away an easy <laughs> shot or a loose shot which is so easy to do when you're really fatigued. Three points away here, Koki Watanabe. Yeah, that was a point that he absolutely desperately 11, needed to away. 18. Now he's got to do something. It's pretty much now or never time for him. Return to serve there. Twice. Oh, that's a lucky. Bit lucky 18. to get out of that one, Wong's away. Well, he's having a late flurry here, once away. 13, But is it 18. enough? Twist 14, in this tail. 18. Still a four-point lead, though. Still a healthy lead, but Watanabe turning back at his coach, maybe feeling a little bit uneasy here. <laughs> that pressure maybe just starting to play in his mind. We'll see. Ah. that Watanabe won there, yeah. just to relieve a little bit of pressure. Oh! Yeah, just two points away. Getting to 19 is always a, a very confidence-building score line. Getting to 19, just two more points with one point giving you a match point and just really putting the pressure on the opponent. So Watanabe, ah. two away here. Oh, he looks annoyed and he knows 20, now he faces match six. Point match points here, one to wait.
Koki Watanabe into his second final of 2023. He's beaten Wang Tsui, who looks like he's had just about enough here. And the career masters taking a lot out of him. Just seemed to run out a little bit towards you, didn't he? Ran, ran out a bit of gas there. Watanabe a little bit shaky in the second half of that second game. But managed to pull through, keep his cool. Ah! And you can see how much that yeah! means to him. Delight there for Koki Watanabe. Delight and a little bit of relief as well. Yeah. Having led, I don't think Wang away led at all no. in the whole match. So Koki Watanabe, the seventh seed, beats the fifth seed from Chinese Taipei. Wang Tsui, 21-15, 21-14. He's done it in 49 minutes. And we're going to go into our fourth match shortly. Women's singles. Esther Nurubi 3, Wardoyo of Indonesia will take on the qualifier from Japan. Tomoka Miyazaki. Match four coming up here at the uh, 2023 Guangzhou Career Masters. HSBC PWF World Tour Super 300. Women's single up next. Esther Nurumi Triwadoyo is playing Tomoka Miyazaki of Japan. And this is how things look. Kim Gaon is already into the final there. The top seed beating uh, Asuka Takahashi comfortably. Who will she play next? 